So welcome back to another episode, and today is a very special one. Oh my. The most special one ever, 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 and one that makes us feel old, old, old. old. The Nintendo 64 was released 25 years ago today. Let, let, let the pain wash over you. We, I'm telling you, in all the time that I've done the show, this is the first time that I feel old. I feel old because I was 22 years old when the machine got released. You were how old? Uh, so I would have been 20? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah somewhere like that. Yeah. And I'm 47 now. You know, it's like, what is going on? Yeah. We picked up this machine. This is my original Nintendo 64 right here. You know, even with the service number in the back, give him a call if anything goes wrong. And I'm allowed to touch it now. You're allowed to touch it today. Okay, don't get, don't get, don't get carried away now. Don't get carried away now. This is crazy. What, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, 25 years later, you know, it seems like two minutes ago we were hanging out and all excited about it. The amount of hype this thing had going in was unreal. Unreal. Okay, it was Unbelievable! Yeah. I had that, and, and remember what? Do you remember what the code name for it was? The Ultra Sixty Four. Yes. 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 The coolest code name ever. Yeah. Full uh, stop. And we're coming off the Super Nintendo. Oh, dude, which, which was, was on fire. Which was on okay. fire. Yes. Yeah. The Super NES was one of the most amazing, incredible consoles for my for my lifetime. My, yeah, me too. I mean, the amount of third party games that came out on that thing, the amount of amazing memories that are just all crammed into that little plastic. I know it was perfect. So and so, their next step, we were all just oh, like, like, oh my god! So yeah, we were getting video game magazines and pouring oh. through them and seeing any information we could <laughs> Remember on this thing. the infamous game fan cover with Mario. Yeah. Oh yeah. Looking oh, at yeah. it, that was us. We went over that magazine and over that magazine, and we had the <gasps> feeling. It yeah. Was so. And intense. seeing Mario 64, what it was going to look like and all of that. And oh, yeah. we've done many videos about this over the years. We have, we talked about our Mario memories and, and all of that. But you can't stress it enough, and I've said it so many times, that jump from 2D gaming, <sighs> overhead gaming, to a fully 3D world that was Unreal. done with Mario was breathtaking. Yep. And I don't think we'll ever see the likes of it again. No. It, I I don't think I've ever been so floored, and it started because your family decided to do something that was very very unusual at the time. You rented this. Now yes, now now before the North American release. Yes, no exactly. Less. So, yep. uh, a chain of video game stores that we've talked about a lot, Willow Video Games. Yeah. Okay. They used to buy the consoles at the Japanese launch import them and rent them for a tidy sum no less was but, it yeah yeah it was it was not inexpensive yeah but when it launched in japan the, i think it was the next day i had been phoning willow and phoning yes we're gonna get them yes we're gonna get them yes we're gonna get them i put my name down i reserve back when video stores existed and that was a thing you could phone yeah. and reserve something right and so i reserved it and i remember the day that they had it in they phoned me and i went with my dad down to the willow video at ska uh, 72nd and king george yep we picked up the big black case with the suitcase handle that had the console inside and had a controller, it had the power adapter, it had Mario. Yeah. And I brought it home and I set it all up and my dad and my brother were like, okay, let's go, let's go. And I was like, no, 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 not yet. I'm like, what are you talking about? No, no, no. And I picked up the phone and I phoned you. And I was like, John, hmm. I got an N64 in my house right now. Like right now. And you were like, click. And like, I swear. Five minutes. You rode that bike faster than any human being. There were flaming tire prints up the side from your house up that hill. I will never forget that. I remember, I think I was with some girl at the time. I said, I, said, I gotta go. Yeah. And I said, I gotta buy. And I, was just, I, I remember getting that. I'm walking in, seeing it, and it's just yeah. like, wow. I had a few moments like that over at your place of seeing Mario and then seeing uh, Knights. For the first yes. time and, and right. in 3D, that and that controller and all of that it was like, whoa! Yeah, you know? those those big moments, and it was a big moment. People are using the new analog controller, yeah. and I'm like, this is weird. Yeah, it was bizarre. But Nintendo at the time, you know, they created the the, the controller for the NES, which was revolutionary, and, and then also to, into the Super Nintendo, which was 
unbelievable. Those shoulder buttons, the shoulder buddy, buttons. and four on the front. Four! I, there was four so, I remember being so excited with the Super Nintendo controller because there were so many buttons. Yes! Was, oh my god, I, they, how much more can I do? I want more buttons! This isn't, this isn't yeah, it was, it was perfect. And then, yeah, they released the Jaguar controller with like billions of, you know, like, get out of here. We don't want that kind of that stuff. That thing looked like a telephone. It was so unusual. It was so unusual. So, yeah, I, and I, I, I want to say something here is that I, I, I thank you for inviting me up back then I, and we, we've told our funny stories and this is 25 25 years ago yes um let's go you know that i eventually got this yes. um and I, I picked it up and all i wanted was five minutes that's all i really wanted was uh, it was like half an hour <laughs> I, I so i went to pick up the nintendo 64 and i was able to get mario uh, mario 64 in the lineup as well i was real lucky and i came home and i think <laughs> you have to understand at the time i've never really explained it I was, I came in, I, I drove home, there's nobody home, just me, with my new machine. I wanted to have a moment to unbox it, have a cigarette, and take my time, and then phone my friends and say, come on over, right? Yeah. And I just, wa I just wanted that. And I came over, and you and Satan were in the, you're like, it's already gone in the house. Yep. And you're like, hey, oh my God, he's here. And I'm like, what are you guys? It was kind of the shock factor <laughs> as, and as your car was coming down the driveway yeah. into where you parked, there was that window into your basement and like two meerkats on the nature yeah, channel. We just boop up the window. So yeah. we're and I was just like, come on, guys, give me give me 15 minutes, like, come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys, come, guy, come on. And all of that, and, and I'm like. And you kicked us out. And there was, this wasn't, the, we were like thinking, oh, ha, 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 ha. No, he was like, by the scruff of the neck, get the fuck out of my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock the sure. door, go away. I just wanted, I just wanted that, that little moment because it was such a big moment. And it was such a big moment for you as well that you went and bought something early, yes. which is which is kind of weird you could even get it. So, before the launch of the console in North America, they released the controllers. They were for sale months before the console itself was out. Now, the thing is, when this launched, this beautiful, sleek console, which I love the design of, it has a, a black plastic casing. The controller was gray, like the, like, okay? I am so weird. For me, my controller has to match my console. I don't know why, but it does. And right. so as soon as the controllers were available, I knew I had to have a black controller. Yeah. And I went down to Save on Foods yeah. that had that, remember the enter the excitement sign? Yeah, I remember and then that. there was the little video the store video right inside the door. And they had them for sale in there. And I bought an N64 black controller. Before before the console was even available, so before it was weird, even eh? like anything. They never but do I that had, again. I had the controller. And I used to, and I brought that home, and I used to, every once in a while of a night, when I, you know, had a few drinks and was feeling very misty-eyed and yeah. excited, I would take it out and just hold it and think about the day that I'd be able to sit Isn't and play it? I know. Mario 64 by myself. I and know. then I'd put it back and I'd put it away. And then I'd take it back out, and right here... He, he brought it over. ...is that controller that I bought at Save On Foods. 25 years ago. More than 25 years More ago. than 25, yeah, because just a little bit by, more. By a couple of months. Yeah. And I would sit there and I'd just, I'd, 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 I'd hold it like this. And then I was like, what do I, is it like this? Is yeah. it, is it like this? Is it like, well, I know I need to use the stick. And it was just such a weird thing to try and wrap my head around how I would play with it. And now holding it actually, it feels really weird. Let's, let me, let, it, yeah. Because we're so used to dual analog sticks now, that feels yeah. really oh. messed up. It, it, it feels, yeah. This feel weird. It, it, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, I really enjoy this control from Mario 64, but it, it does, it feels a little cheap now. It feels a little uh, gimmicky. Well, it's a little awkward in the hand, so, so right? It's, like, awkward, it's an yeah. awkward controller, and I think it was interesting, and I, I enjoyed the experience, but yes. I don't, obviously, I don't think it's the best Nintendo controller they've ever done, that's no, for sure. But at the time, I but, could not get enough of that. But at the time, this was the most exciting thing you would ever, you'd ever seen. You know, you'd never seen it. Unreal. There's some battle scars on it. It's seen it. Well, you've got to throw it out now. It's you. It's you, dude. That's cool. It, did, it was, it was, it kind of was okay. at the time, all the, all these designs were this, futuristic. This yeah. survived getting all 120 stars in Mario 64. Yeah, yeah. Dear Lord. Oh, my God. That alone I never deserves that. No. sweet retirement. Yeah. That's, but it was, it, the excitement was on. Real. Unreal. And you can't say it enough uh, for, for all the Nintendo fans out there. We're all like, oh my god, we can't wait for all the new games to come out. Yeah. And obviously this was the big launch Boom. game, Mario 64. And if it had been an okay game, maybe things had been different. It was a revolutionary game that changed the way video games would be forever. And would change the Nintendo forever. Yes. And we, we didn't really... 
I don't think we knew how big it was, but we didn't really know how far it would go yeah. in the future oh, yeah. on all of that. And I just remember, I've said it before, showing my parents Mario 64, and they kind of they kind of thought video games were interesting, yeah. but even they were like, wow, okay, this is, whoa, whoa, it's really, it kind of captured mm -hmm. everybody who saw it. They're like, this is, okay, video games have come somewhere now. Video yeah. games, because they're in 3D now, they felt more realistic to some people or something, uh, you know? And, and it's not to say that, you know, Sega Saturn and PlayStation didn't make attempts at 3D gaming. They did. They made some forays into it. Not as well as Mario 64, as Mario 64 did it. Yeah. It, and, and the idea of this 2D platformer game that's, you know, you run from the left side to the right side, there's the game, yeah. to turn into this. Run around the world and jump into... Oh, into paintings and, and, that were all separate worlds. Yeah, and the interaction and the jumping and the mechanics, and it was... <sighs> and it felt fluid and it felt... Very good. It yes. felt really yeah. Like you picked up the controller, you start running around. You like, I feel good. Uh, and the the adventure and excitement and magic of the unknown mysteries. Uh, there was no there was no walkthroughs uh, on the internet back then. There was nothing. There was no internet back then. <laughs> the same way. There's not the same way at all. And no. so we we were going through this game, figuring out the mysteries for oh, ourselves. Man. And and we I spent months and months on the game. Oh yeah. Just oh, exploring man. and testing things and having fun. Yep. That's what it was all about. The first time I jumped on a turtle shell, a Koopa yeah. shell, and went skateboarding and surfing on that yeah. thing. And then when you did it in the lava level, and that was how you could yeah. get around on the lava and not burn your arse and die. Yeah, and you're like, whoa, that, that, kind of, yeah, <gasps> that kind of concept. I'm actually was, getting goosebumps from Yeah, it was really that exciting. What was it like for you guys out there? Was the Nintendo 64 the big launch? And I've got to admit, it's one of the my least favorite consoles Strangely, overall. yes. Um, it had some big games like Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time yes. were huge, um, but it didn't have a great, great library no. overall. No, it didn't. Um, it, but I did enjoy a lot of games. You know, GoldenEye was there for a lot of people. Yep. I enjoyed Mario Kart quite a lot on the oh, machine. That, I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, Quest 64, no. No. Nobody ever said that. Uh, Quest 64 was Go good. Go Troublemakers? Yeah, oh yeah, that's that yeah. was treasure I, in its I forgot about that. Yeah, beautiful game. There's quite quite a few games, and there was even a Resident Evil two that came out on it. Which <laughs> and a Mega Man and Legends. a Mega Man Legends. Mega Man sixty. Oh, yeah, isn't that fascinating? Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, this is such an important place in history. Yes. For Nintendo, and it's interesting. We're 25 years later, and we have the Nintendo Switch, and it's just yeah. it's so surreal to where they've come. Yep. All, all these years and stuff like that, and I, I'm really thankful for Nintendo, honestly, oh, yeah. for all the memories. All the memories. And, and for the innovations. Innovations. They, I mean, they made innovations so consistently. Yeah, yeah. Some great, some less well-received, but I mean, they're always looking for that next step, that next, and I respect them for that. Yeah, definitely. And this machine holds such a place for us and our friendship. Uh, I, was just, and, I was just about to say, N Nintendo and these games and these machines have painted our lives. Yes, they absolutely. Really, with these amazing memories and all these fun times we've had hanging out. Yep. Um, that's, our memories, silly or whatever they've been over the years, um, there are memories and they've what shaped our lives. Yep. And it's, and it's been fun. Video games have been fun. And it's not just Nintendo, it's every video game machine maker out there. Oh yeah. You know, all these cons, uh, you know, games and all that, uh, this f flavor our lives with so much fun and entertainment. You know, the ups and downs in our lives that we've had, and we've certainly had, we've certainly had some of those. Oh, man. And video games have helped. Video games have helped. They have been a cornerstone, a, a, a place of comfort, yeah. a place of escape, yeah. a place of excitement. Yeah. They've brought us together. They've, yeah. they've really invigorated our lives, inspired our imaginations. Yeah. And, and Nintendo has been such a core piece of that. Absolutely. You know, um, absolutely. Love them or hate them, they are absolutely... Innovators. Uh, in the heart and soul of the video game community. Absolutely. And they've earned it with such titles as Metroid. Oh, that'll never get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Zelda, nah. Nah, nah. Mario, nah, that's a passing fad. Ah, <laughs> no. They've really come a long way. And we've been there on the journey. And we just wanted to share uh, like 25 years of the Nintendo 64. It's, just, it's honestly made us feel old. It does. It's it crazy. Don't, does it make you guys <laughs> feel old that we're there? 25 years. Some of you were tots okay. back then, and now you're adults. A quarter of a century. Yeah. A quarter of a, that, a quarter of a century. This is the big one for us. This is the big one for us. This is the one that's going to be nuts. It hurts a little. It hurts a little, and it's not, it's not because we want to live in the past. 
but because that moment was so beautiful. It was. It was a beautiful time when the N64 came out. Very exciting, yes. magical time uh, in our youth. I was 22 years old. My God, I'm 47 now. What the hell happened to my life? <laughs> It's a lot of fun. So, anyways, guys, let us know some of your Mario 64 uh, and uh, launch day memories. Yeah, let us know down below for sure. So, anyways, guys, until next time.